We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I want to come out here and talk about the whole Chrisette Michelle situation, honey. When I tell you Chrisette Michelle would not stop getting drugged up and down social media, this whole situation is just crazy. So what's going down now is that basically Chrisette Michelle had an interview with Billboard magazine yesterday. And in that interview, she basically admitted to the fact that after all this drama, after all this hoopla, she didn't even get a chance to meet Donald Trump. She didn't get to shake his hand. She didn't get to do none of that shit, okay? So the whole situation was a hot damn mess. I'm going to go ahead and read to you guys what she told Billboard magazine check this out so Chrisette Michelle says originally I was supposed to perform directly after his speech I had done that with Barack Obama before so I was used to this kind of experience and the woman who organized the event came and told me now you're going to go first and he's going to go after you I looked her in the eye and I said my family has disowned me if you decide to Google me, you'll see what America is writing about me in their newspapers. I'm the black poster child for Discord right now. And he's not going to shake my hand. So basically, I did not get to meet him. Damn, this tea's good. Once again, when shucking and jiving goes wrong. And the same thing happened to Kanye West's ass. He just knew that Donald Trump was going to send him an invite to come and perform. And they basically told Kanye West that he was not invited to perform at the inauguration. Why? Because this is considered a traditional American event. So basically, Kanye West is not traditional or American enough to perform for Donald Trump. So this whole situation to me is just damn comical, okay? Now on top of that, Chrisette Michelle caught herself going on to the Breakfast Club and explaining herself some more. And people were not feeling what she said on the Breakfast Club and once again, she started getting drug on social media. I want you guys to go ahead and check out these comments, these tweets and what folks have to say about Chrisette Michelle's Breakfast Club interview. Check this out and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. <laughs> All right, so you guys just saw the comments, the tweets, and what folks had to say. Now, I'm going to say this. I don't have any issue with Chrisette Michelle. Y'all know me. I'm not about to troll nobody. I'm not about to sit here and threaten their family. You know, some of the comments and some of the things I've seen online towards her are just a bit much, okay? People are just, you know, taking the shit a little bit too far, okay? I do feel like Chrisette Michelle should have never tried to build a bridge with a damn troll, okay? Trolls belong under the bridge and not next to you trying to build the damn bridge, okay? So now, also with that being said, I also feel like Chrisette Michelle needs to stop doing interviews she needs to stop talking about this she needs to let everything die down and blow over okay the more you talk about it the more you do interviews about this situation you're doing nothing more than fanning the flames of discontent and you're fanning the trolls to come after you and to continuously keep trolling you so if you don't want to be trolled if you don't want to be threatened if you don't want to keep having to explain yourself 
How about you stop doing interviews talking about the damn inauguration, okay? This shit happened last Friday. We're on to bigger, better things, boo, okay? Thank you. So anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation. Once again, concerning Chrisette Michelle, what do you guys feel about her not even being able to shake Donald Trump's hand, not being able to meet him after everything that she went through? Like I always tell y'all, all money is not good money. I think after everything that's happened and what she said, that maybe was not in her best interest to perform for Donald Trump. But I caught that out last week, okay? And also, let me know what you guys think about her Breakfast Club interview. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. Hey, you guys, it's your girl, T. Make sure to subscribe, like, and share my videos. You can also visit lovelytea.com to purchase any merchandise. Also, don't forget to click the boxes down below to watch any of my previous videos. Talk to y'all later. Deuces.